Hello and welcome, I'm Tino and today we're going to be talking about the four doctrines. We are going to first check the cards, at least the first one, and then we are going to give some examples on how to use them, the strong and weakest point, and we are also going to combine them with army spirits and spirits of the division and my personal tips. And if you are in Paradoxian channel, please subscribe here, it's Tino Dua English. I created this channel two weeks ago, so I hope to find you here. I will keep moving stuff from Paradoxian to here. So let's start with the Blitzkrieg. It's the f first one, of course. Krieg is war in Sherman. And as you may have already guessed, it's a pure offensive doctrine. You should be using this if you are confident that you are going to not having problems defending, that you are in offense, is perfect of course for Germany or, or big powers or if you have plans to conquer the world. They start with a powerful offensive doctrines, they have division speed, this is why they are fast, division speed plus 10, very important for armor divisions. Or glues when moving, not that important but helps if you are in the offensive. This one Planning speed is super important, it gives you a huge 50% boning of planning speed. That's, this means that you can plan an attack very fast, only in 3 days you have your plan full, so you're get, going to be getting that 50% attack advantage. And finally you have breakthrough, a massive 20% breakthrough for your tanks and tank variants that help you reduce your casualties when attack. As you can see we, here we have an attack planning bonus plus 41% so it's very important that you can do planning very fast and you do this with this doctrine only two days and you have look, your planning bonus at full 100%. The plus 20% breakthrough is applied here, but in this case, since the enemy attack is very low, it's kind of useless, you don't need a 20% in this case, but sometimes when you are maybe attacking through a river, against a mountain, without planning bonus, your breakthrough goes down a lot, and that's when that 20% is very useful for attack. And as you can see, the tactics used by the Sherman channel or the channels that have the Blitzkrieg are usually super offensive, unexpected threat in this case, and we are at level 1, and they have a plus 15% attacker's tactical damage. As I said, as level 1, you already get this tactic that we have just seen, unexpected threat, it's very powerful, but very very soon you will get this one, breakthrough that is super powerful you get a plus 25 attacker tactical damage and an impressive 50 percent movement speed while attacking so you are going to be kind of blitzkrieging the enemy level 2 is completely useless you have this organization that is not important at all at least for me and level 3 you have this one that's elastic defense is a defense used by manstein it's a good tactical for a good tactic for defense, but not really that important since you are going to be on defense. And level four is a little bit better, quite a lot better, because you have plus 20% breakthrough, and you have another very good offensive doctrine. So you are combining already 40% extra breakthrough. So this tactic is king in breakthrough and speed. In Blitzkrieg you have two options, go by the left or go by the right. I always go by the right, for me it's a no-brainer because the left one only gives speed and organization for the mechanized or motorized company. But as you have seen in my videos, I always use strategic redeploy and hit, so my organization is always close to zero and I never had problems with that, so this line for me is useless. But on the other hand, this one it has breakthrough plus 20, super important for the fence. And you also have down here this tactic breakthrough that is super important. So I always go down this line. In this card here in the middle, we get another 20% planning speed. So this three is key in planning speed because we have 50 here, 20 down there makes 70% planning speed. And finally you have another decision 
on the left side you have tons of manpower, extra manpower. If you are doing, you are not doing so great, you can go this way to replenish your manpower. Or if you are doing great, this one is kind of useless, this one too. But here on the end you have another breakthrough plus 20% super useful so you will ha end up having plus 60 percent so they have so much recruit that you are not going to need that planning bonus so much you can keep moving and attacking directly that you're not going to suffer critical hits at least and that's all for the blitzkrieg a pure offensive doctrine and the next doctrine is superior firepower is the american doctrine the u.s doctrine it concentrates on suppressing the enemy, so it's first doctrine, suppress the enemy, the enemy is going to be doing less damage, 20% less damage, and you are going to be doing more damage. And it also provides soft attack, plus 10%, very important for all frontline battalions. This includes tank, infantry and artillery, but will not include the support company, so it's a huge amount of pure raw damage it's the only path that gives you more damage for the unit the second card we have a new tactic delayed and again you are suppressing the enemy damage and organization not very useful the organization the third one elastic defense another very good defensive doctrine and an increase in defense this one is not so useful because you should have more defense than the enemy especially if you are uni using big units like I always recommend you do but as you can see the organization plus the defense it's helpful for defending and now you have to pick le left or right I always pick left because this will give you bonus to the support companies but since I use large divisions, I have lots of battalions and if you are going to be using artillery battalions, this is going to be very useful. The first one, not at all because it's recovery rate, it's completely useless. But this one, yes, it's super useful because it gives you soft attack plus 10%. That is great. If you are going to be using tons of artillery pieces on the front line, this technology is this, this doctrine, sorry, is great. And yet again, you have another great defensive tactics for suppressing the enemy damage. And the next one is a very good one because it gives you some offense. So far we have a very good defense, but this one gives you gives you a very good offensive doctrine, blitz tactics, sorry, and it gives you breakthrough 10%. I know is far less than the blitzkrieg, but it's something. And now you have a tough decision. This line is more tank oriented, and this one is more defensive oriented and artillery oriented. We're going to check the details. On the left side, the first card, useless, hard attack, plus 10. I don't care very much because few units have hard. Second one, a good tactic, but you have this tactic on both sides. Both sides have breakthrough, so super good tactic, offensive tactic, and another super good defensive tactic that we are going to see very soon. But since both sides have the tactic, I don't care about this. But this one has soft attack for tanks plus 10, so it's the only doctrine in games that gives pure soft attack for the units so this the tanks are going to be quite dangerous here we have the defensive tactic very good one recovery rate doesn't matter and the last one is interesting because you have air superiority plus 20 percent a very important bonus huge bonus and organization useless so on this side you have a kind of Super air superiority that makes your unit to move faster so for attack is great and gives power to your tanks so on the offensive this one is great and on the other hand this one the first one gives you even more soft attack for the artillery plus five percent but we already have another bonus up there in the line so it's great the second one we have more reconnaissance, so our units pick the tactic better. The third one, we have the tactic, like, like on the other side, 
organization recovery rate useless but this one is incredible massive you have soft attack all frontline battalions this includes tanks plus five so it's not a 10 plus 10 like on the other side but you are still getting a plus five on tank but you are getting as a bonus a plus five on artillery and infantry but also you are getting for all infantry a massive plan well it's not massive but it's a plus 10 plus 5 sorry and hard attack like on the other side and down here you have on the artillery another plus 5 so if you have plenty of artillery and you go defensive you get this line and this line you are going to be dealing a lot of damage now grand battle plan this is kind of curse war french tactic is trenches and huge plans I, I like this. I, I always play with the first three. They are super enjoyable. This one gives you an entrenchment bonus. Very important. 25% entrenchment speed and 10% bonus on entrenchment. This means that when you are defending, you will be dealing far more damage. On the other hand, this one will deal you will make help you deal damage when you are defending and attacking but this one with the entrenchment bonus will deal more damage when defending than the second one so it's kind of super good for defense the second one is max planning that is different from speed planning the shermans have planning speed so you reach their 40 percent bonus very fast but here you have max planning 10% so instead of reaching 40% bonus you reach 50% bonus or 45 I don't I don't remember how it's calculated but when the plan is, is is the planning is slower but you are going to be dealing far more damage when you have all the planning bonus accumulated next card defensive and organization not very good card number 4 you have a very good tactic gives you a massive or a nice attack bonus well planned offensive plus 15 but you also get breakthrough for infantry and soft attack for infantry I never attack with infantry but this number helps on defense so it's okay for me and then you have to choose left to right you have nice tactics on both sides they, they are both kind of the same but on the second one you have max planning plus 10 and you have here also max planning plus 10 so it totals a mass planning max planning plus 30 percent including the first one that is kind of massive i would like to do a test in the future i will do a test with the, this 30 percent max planning and on the other hand on this side you have night attack but is um, kind of down here let me see reconnaissance this one tanks useless this one night attack plus 25 percent so when during the night you have a 50 percent penalty but these cuts that have penalty by half typical in the, the the japanese offensive during the nights we are using this tactic so you are going to be dealing more damage during the night so that means that in a constant attack you are going to be dealing more damage on the other hand if you are a guy that stops plans use the planning bonus and then attack you are going to be doing much more damage with this side so your offensive on this size on this side is going to be slower but you are going to be break tough nuts on the other hand if you go this way your offensive will be faster but if you find a strong wall you may not be able to break it I would like to talk a little bit about army spirits for example quick organization increases your planning speed so if you are going in blitzkrieg this could help a lot or you can compensate for example in the grand battle plan the slow planning speed you can use this to speed up things and planning since the bonus are so huge you want to use them always if you are using grand battle plan that is kind of defensive and slow moving you may wish to use the assault gun, the railway guns that are massive and if you use this they will do double damage so they are kind of super powerful your offensive will be slow but powerful 
on the Division Spirit side, if you are using Great Battle Plan, you have this one that is super good. It gives you even more entrenchment, so it's kind of role playing World War One. You can entrench and using Grand Battle Plans, and you are going to be dealing a lot of damage if the enemy is attacking this. Combining Grand Battle Plan will be perfect for France or Netherlands to defend against Germany. It will, they will hit a wall. And on the other side, if you use Mobile Doctrine, you can use this one, Speed plus 5, or this one also gives you Speed plus 5, so combined with the Blitzkrieg, they do magic. So, as conclusion, I'm not going to talk about the four Doctrine, the last Doctrine, the Doctrine... This one is the Chinese Doctrine, because it's kind of guerrilla Doctrine, it's good for a role play, but you're not going to be in on defensive, this is super defensive and you are a cat out of supplies, so I never use that doctrine. But when to use the first tree? Well, if you're unsure if you're going to survive, for example, when I play as Holland and I had the Shermans very strong going to attack, I will go for the Grand Battle Plan. Also, it's great for France, so you need to entrench, stop, and wait for the Americans to arrive, and they will hit a wall. If you combine Grand Battle Plan with the entrenchment bonus that this thing gives you, they are going to hit a wall. Also, the second one, the American Firepower, is very good for defense because, but especially if you are using tons of artillery, because they have huge bonus, but mainly for artillery and infantry, but mainly artillery. So it's kind of a offensive defensive and you're going to be dealing a lot of damage and the enemy will break down earlier so it's also very fun to play I sometimes combine that one with even tanks because I, I like to see a, a massive soft attack with the tanks so it's kind of, of cool going down the here and getting the bonus for the tanks it's a damage dealer it's enjoyable if I, if I don't need the speed and I don't need the breakthrough because this one gives you breakthrough but sometimes your tank have so much breakthrough that you value more the damage that the soft attack that this path gives you plus 10% so it could be sometimes more effective if you use are okay with 8 km per hour speed so it's super useful for attack also. The only problem is that sometimes these tactics are very good, but late in this path you get also the the breakthrough, or the attacking doctrine, that is, it's very good. But 100% sure that if I'm going to be going very heavy on artillery, I will choose this one, the US doctrine. And this one, the kind of World War One doctrine, it's kind of very enjoyable if you are going to receive a huge attack and then you are going to be counter-attacking like France, Poland, it's it's very nice you 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 hold the enemy and then you counter-attack slow but surely if you are a guy that likes to, to go supply the pot by supply the pot, advance in slowly even attacking the Soviet Union, slowly ground and securing, advancing and securing, this will help you because it helps a lot against the counter attacks. Therefore the three doctrines can be used on offense, just that this one is kind of faster if you want to take the war in record time, well this is the way to go, but if you are unsure if you are going to survive the enemy, maybe you are better with one of these two, and then when you control the situation you counter attack. Forgot an important detail, the difference on defense between the Grand Battle Plan and the US Doctrine is that this one is a pure soft attack that is instantly done. So if you move and you receive an attack, you are already doing that, that soft attack. But on the other hand, this one needs time. So you need the unit to entrench. So you always be need more planification to do you this this is for the armchair arsenal you need to move and entrench and then yes when they are entrenched they can hold much better than this one but if you want just move all the, the units around and they have good stats for attack and defense this is your their target kind of a middle ground between the the super offensive and the super defensive one 
And that's all on my side, guys. If you have any feedback, how do you play? I would love to hear it and have a nice 